Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this premiere, at least for my channel. Because today I have the chance to show you a brand new style from the Raquel Welsh Spring Collection of 2024 that is being introduced and published today, March 1st, 2024. And I'm so happy and grateful that I got the chance to get this beauty a little in advance and can show her to you on this very day. Her name is Flip the Script in my favorite color, Shaded Biscuit. Now, if you want to know what special features she has, how the cap looks from the inside, how the color is composed and how I like her, then stick around and let's get started. Now, isn't she just gorgeous and I'm so thrilled and a little nervous actually because this is like I said a premiere for me and my channel I never got to show a brand new style on the day it's being introduced and released and I'm so happy and thankful to my friends Jan and Silke from Perukengrip.de my favorite online shop that delivers all across Europe, by the way, who gave me the chance to order this a little in advance. So I have a little time to film this review and post it on March the 1st, the day the new spring collection is introduced. I fell in love with it head over heels just by seeing the picture. Now, I tried to style her the way the model is wearing her. I hoped it worked. If not, I'm really sorry, but I don't have Frank and Kyle here who can style her for me. <laughs> like when they styled her for the shooting. But I love mine and I think she's just as glamorous and gorgeous and really movie star hair in my opinion. So Frank and Kyle and all the guys at Hair You Wear, thank you so much for giving us these great gorgeous styles all the time to make us feel glamorous. And this one really is something completely new they haven't done before. It's a 19, late 70s, early 80s style, I would say, with the feathered back look of big bouncy curls that have been brushed out and, uh, you know, all away from the face. And she's so beautiful in the back. She has a V shape, which looks gorgeous. And she's heavily layered throughout. You find so many layers here, which makes it so wearable and so much fun also. And she's bouncy and fun and just gorgeous in my opinion. And she does remind me a little of Farrah Fawcett. Of course, she is not as long as Farrah used to wear her hair back in the day, but nevertheless, I think it's an amazing style. And of course, as always, she has the great Raquel Welch features that are done so beautifully. Now, the cap features an extended lace front. <sighs> yes, which is something I always love and need. And a complete hand-tied monofilament top, which means you can part her wherever you like. I parted her on the left uh, the way she came, and since I always part mine on the left, but you can also part her on the right or in the middle. And I think if you part her in the middle, you can create that butterfly look that is so in right now. And one of the hairstyles of 2024, at least that's what I heard. And of course, the special features are done extremely well, as always, and as always, I'm going to show them to you from up close. Now, look at that gorgeous lace front. Isn't it just beautiful? I mean, the knotting is perfect. It's not too light. You can see through just as I like it. Now, they did use a lot of those white platinum highlights here at the hairline, which is something not everyone likes. I'm not a huge fan, but it doesn't really bother me so much either. And the lace front, like I said, is extended all the way down into the ear tap. And look at that part. I mean, that mono top is done as exquisitely as only Raquel Welch does. The density is just perfect. So no matter where you part it, you can see through to the scalp without having to pluck the part, which is something I hate and have to do on so many other brands, but not or hardly ever with Raquel Welch. 
Now, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of that banding effect they use, at least on the those very highlighted colors like Shaded Biscuit. On darker colors, um, you don't have that, of course. You also have lighter highlights, but it's never that banding effect. I don't know why they keep doing it, but you know, from the far, I think it looks gorgeous anyway. And of course, you don't see any dark knots when you have all those highlights and light color fibers at the hairline. So now I'd say let's have a look at her from all sides so you can see how beautiful she is even from behind. And after that, of course, also outside in natural daylight. So, how do you like Flip the Script and who of you is gonna get her too? <laughs> Please let me know in the comments below. I'd really love to know if you love her as much as I do. By the way, I hope my voice isn't too terrible today or too nasally, since I have the feeling I just caught a cold and it's getting worse by the hour. <laughs> But I really wanted to film this review before the flu or whatever hits me and I'm not able to. So I hope I can cope and still finish this without any major flaws or something. So please forgive me if I sound a little off or my voice is a little nasal. I'm really trying my best here. Now the cap fits regular as Raquel Welch always fits. She's a true average and would also fit a little larger head circumferences, I'm pretty sure. I didn't have to do anything with the adjusters. She sits perfectly. And of course you can always, you know, open the adjusters or tighten them if you have a larger or smaller head. But for me, I would say the cap fits pretty average. Speaking of the cap, let's have a look at it from the inside. So here's the cap from the inside. Here you can see that lace front that is extended all the way into the ear tabs. Here's the typical seam between the lace front and the monofilament top, which is pretty big, by the way. Then she has felt covered ear tabs with the metal stays inside. The rest of the cap is open wefted. By the way, it's the memory cap one. Then she has uh, an extended nape and adjustable straps with Velcro, which I love. So as always, this is a very well-made, high-quality cap. Now the fibers of Flip the Script are made from Raquel Welch's uh, heat-friendly, true-to-life fibers. And that means, of course, you can use your heat tools to maintain the style, you know, to refresh it, to mend the ends if they become frizzy, and use your flat iron or your hot airbrush or any other hot brush, your hot comb or whatever you use to smoothen out the ends. And um, of course, you can also change the style if you like. You can straighten it or add more curls or waves to it, just as you like. And that's why I always love and prefer the heat-defined fibers. And besides, they're not shiny at all, and not as shiny as the regular synthetic. Now, talking about permities, well, I must say there is a ton of permities on this style. Um, there's a little in the nape, but a lot in the back and all the way up to the crown, around the crown. There's none on top since it's a hand-tightened mono top, but also on the sides she has loads of heavy permities. And I think you can also see it from behind. I mean, it's definitely not visible permities, but it looks a little teased, you know, like those big hairdos back from the 60s when you get volume by teasing the hair. And that's just how it looks. And I must say, I don't mind that. And I like the look. I'm not sure if they had to use that much permities, but uh, as long as it's no visible permities, and you never have visible permities with Raquel Welch, by the way, I really don't mind. And the density is also a little on the heavier side. It's not a light density at all. Um, it's more a medium to high density, especially here in front. The bangs also are pretty heavy and she doesn't feel really light weight. But as you can see, she's totally flowy. She's really moving beautifully. These curls are very bouncy. 
and the fibers feel great. Just know that this is not a low density style. Okay, now let's have a look at my favorite color outside in natural daylight. Now the color is called Shake a Biscuit and has the color code RL1923SS and Raquel Welsh describes the color as light ash blonde, evenly blended with cool platinum blonde and dark roots. I'd say there's nothing to add. <laughs> if we look at the color codes, there's the 19, which is a light sandy blonde, and that is the base color, which also looks a little honey blonde to me. And then there's the 23, which is a light ash blonde. And you can see that mix of those two colors. And then it's heavily highlighted with a platinum blonde, which I suppose is the 101 which is the lightest and coolest platinum, and especially here at the hairline and around the face. They use a lot of those highlights. And the root color is also not given. It's probably an eight, which is a light chestnut brown. And as always, I think the color and transition from the root is done beautifully. I would say since they used a lot of those platinum highlights, this application here looks a little ashier than what I've seen on other styles. So it's a rather cool application of Shaded Biscuit and it can also look warm on other styles, but on this one it's a rather cool color in my opinion. All right, that was my review of Flip the Script. I hope you liked it and it's helpful. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my future videos. And there's a new one coming out each Friday. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will gladly reply. Now, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're well. Stay that way and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye. Schauen. Ah! Oh Gott, Entschuldigung. Hm. Oh je, ich hoffe, ich werde nicht richtig krank, aber es fühlt sich gerade so an. Now, if you like this style here, you might also like this one here, or maybe also this one here, or you just check one of those. Mm -hmm.